Greetings once again from the corner on the deck. It's been a while since we sat in the corner on the deck. Anyway, there's something I wanted to pass on to uh, folks. Uh, those of you who follow my videos, and I really appreciate that you do follow them, uh, I thank you once again. You know that I just returned from Lackland Air Force Base at San Antonio, Texas uh, to attend the Air Force Basic Training uh, graduation of my oldest grandson. Well, I graduated from Lackland Air Force Base 45 years ago, and at the time, there was a bus that would take you into San Antonio to the Alamo. Uh, there was no river walk at that time, but we got to go to the Alamo, and uh, there was a USO there, I believe. And the bus, I think it cost 50 cents for the, for the young airman that had just graduated. It gave him a chance to get off base, get in town, do something. And it was a great deal. It was, it was sponsored and supplied uh, by the, uh, the Recreation Center which was right next to the trainee barracks at that time. Anyway, <clears throat> this time when we went down, I was thinking, you know, well, that bus has still got to be operational. It'll be, of course, newer and maybe a different setup, but it has, still has to be a bus that would take the troops into town to see the Alamo, the Riverwalk. There's no way that, <laughs> there's no way the businesses downtown were going to, you know, would put up with the airmen not coming downtown and spending their money. They, there's no way they would tolerate that. So they would, they, no, there's no doubt in my mind they would arrange for some sort of bus system to get these guys into town after graduation or when they had town passes. Uh, or just the, you know, the, the permanently stationed people there who might not have a car. Because none of these trainees have cars. So I started asking around, I said, where's the bus? Uh, that would t they'll take us to the Alamo and the Riverwalk. Well, nobody knew anything. Nobody. I went to the hotels on on base, asked people at the uh, BX. Nobody knew anything. Nobody knew about any bus that would go downtown. I'm scratching my head, thinking, you know, this is this is crazy. I know there has to be a bus. It just has to exist. Well, we were running out of time, and fortunately, wifey came through. Wifey got talking to another wifey, and the other wifey said, well, we're going downtown to the Alamo Saturday morning. Uh, we're taking the bus down. Well, of course, you know, my wife said, oh, really? What bus is this? Well, the purpose of this video is to show you, if you ever wind up at Lackland Air Force Base, uh, whether you're a military retiree, you go just want to visit the base, uh, whether or not you uh, attend a a uh, basic military training, uh, graduation, whatever. If you wind up on the base and the festivities are over, the parades are done, and, and you want to go downtown see the Alamo, the easiest and cheapest way to do it, to, so you don't have to fight the traffic, you don't have to fire up your GPS, you don't have to worry about paying for parking and all this crap. I'll tell you what, the San Antonio highway system down there, in my mind, was a nightmare. <laughs> I, it, it just took, I just couldn't believe the places I wound up, you know. Follow the signs, you wind up totally different from where you were. I'm sure a lot of it was my own fault, but because that traffic was just, you know, psh, 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 everywhere. Anyway, every Saturday morning, uh, in front, out on the street, in front of the BMT Reception Center, where that's the hub of all the uh, graduating festivities and events, every Saturday morning, there is a bus number 65 that shows up out there. And every 20 minutes thereafter, and it takes for $2.50 per person, it takes you down to uh, uh, San Antonio and drops you right off right across from the USO. And, you know, it's a great place for troops to go who have already seen the Alamo or been to the Riverwalk and don't want to spend a lot of money. They can grab that bus Saturday morning, and civilians, people who are on base, you just get on the bus, you pay your 250, and boom, a few minutes later, you're dropped off across from that USO. And around the corner from the USO, about two blocks away, guess what? There's the Alamo, and there's the River City, or the Riverwalk, the Riverwalk, and everything you need that you wanted to visit there. And on the bus, around the back of the driver, there's a little wall like there, around the wall, on the wall. Uh, are these little bus schedules. Reach up there and grab number 65 
and on the inside it tells you that the first bus begins at the US, or drops you off. That's, let me see, how's it go here now? Yeah, the first bus goes to the Alamo beginning at 9:32, and it ends at 10:02 at night. Every 20 minutes, all day long. And you, and over here to the right is the bus uh, starts at 10 o'clock at the USO and goes back to Lackland. Uh, you get back at 10:30 at night. So there's the schedule. You stick a couple in your pocket in case you lose one, grab two, and put them on two different people. <laughs> and uh, there's your schedule. Two, you just relax. You pay two fifty. You're in. You're out. It's great. It's fantastic. That's the easy way to visit the Alamo and uh, just downtown uh, San Antonio in general. This is the way to get down there cheaply and not have to fight all that traffic, parking, all that crap. So bus number sixty-five. Don't forget in front of the BMT Reception Center on Lackland Air Force Base. Until next time, this is John on the corner on the deck.